Well, the report did look at uh, deaths in custody over an 11 year period, some 333 deaths in, in total. Um, and what it showed was that in many cases, police officers have acted very appropriate under quite difficult circumstances, but it did reflect some shortcomings. And indeed, uh, from ind in independent investigations that we've conducted over the last seven years or so, over the last seven years or so, we were able to make a number of recommendations for policing going forward. Uh, recommendations, for example, around risk assessments, where uh, from those people who were arrested, for example, and taken to custody, uh, only half of them were risk assessed simply because many of them were too drunk or incapable to be assessed. That's something we need to deal with because without a proper risk assessment it's difficult to know uh, what actions should be taken with regard to individuals. So there were a range of issues that we, uh, we found and we've commented on. We've made recommendations around restraint um, when people are arrested and are, are uncooperative. We've made recommendations around mental health where quite often people are taken to uh, police cells as a, uh, a place of safety when that place of safety is simply not appropriate. A police cell is not an appropriate place of safety for someone who has mental health difficulties but is not violent. Uh, and there should be better facilities, better medical facilities for those individuals to go to. So one of the recommendations we've made is that there should be more uh, capital and revenue expenditure by the health service uh, on such One of the recommendations we've made is that there should be more uh, capital and revenue expenditure by the health service uh, on such places of safety so that police officers can take individuals who are detained for their own safety to those places. It will have a number of benefits. First of all, they'll be seen more quickly, they'll feel less threatened uh, and, and less exposed, and it will also have police officers back on duty and on the front line where the public would want them. Well, we were pleased to see that over that 10 year period uh, deaths had dropped quite significantly from some 50 or so in 1998-99 um, through to uh, only 15 last year and I say only. Well the report did look at um, deaths in custody over an 11 year period, some 333 deaths in, in total. And what it showed was that in many cases, police officers have acted very appropriate and they're quite difficult circumstances.